You have to know your enemy, Alfred. I'd never use one, but even I can appreciate the attraction of a gun. Batman doesn't like guns. Everyone who knows anything about his character knows this. These are loud and clumsy. These are the weapons of cowards. Except for Zack Snyder, of course, who believes that Batman not only can use a gun, but doesn't mind killing people either. If the bad guys are associated with a thing that happens to blow up, that's not really... He, he, would see that the, he would say that that's not really my problem, you know, like they shouldn't have been around that. But apart from him, all actual fans know that Batman doesn't use guns. But even so, Batman has used a gun here and there, as writers can't help but play with his no gun rule. After all, rules and morality only really count when a person is at their lowest, as it's easy to follow these rules when everything is going okay. But when things are going bad, well, that's when the real test of a person's character occurs. And this video is going to go over five times that Batman has used a gun. And when I say Batman, I mean the Bruce Wayne version of Batman. We won't be counting any other versions of Batman, such as in the film Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, which alters history and has Bruce Wayne's father, Thomas Wayne, as Batman instead of Bruce. And Thomas Wayne doesn't mind killing or using a gun. Which actually means this would be the perfect Batman film for Zack Snyder to do. He's even ridiculously over-the-top brooding, depressed and dark, and even an alcoholic and could explain that weird flash moment in Batman vs Superman, all of which would make it perfect for Snyder to direct. I may have just found the perfect Batman comic book film for him to make. But anyway, my point is this list will focus just on the Bruce Wayne version of Batman and none others. Number 5. All the time in the Golden Age comics. Let's get the Golden Age out of the way. Everyone knows that when Batman was first created, he didn't mind using guns. It was only later, when his character became more developed and defined, that the no-gun rule came into effect. So before this rule was made, Batman used guns. He used them a lot. But it's last on this list because, as I said, this is before the no-gun rule. It does need to be mentioned as it's an important part of Batman's history. But the rest of the times Batman has used a gun on this list are after the no-gun rule is coming to effect which of course makes them a lot more dramatic and relevant. Number 4. The Dark Knight Returns Part 2 This version of Batman broke a lot of the Batman rules, and it gave us one of the most epic Joker fights in DC's history, in which the Joker runs through a carnival shooting freely at everyone around him, killing quite a lot of people, being chased by Batman who intends to put the Joker down permanently. I'm through playing, Joker. Be still my heart until eventually the fight culminates with a showdown between the two in the Tunnel of Love, which, even though these two are enemies, seems weirdly fitting for them. Though, oddly enough, Batman doesn't actually use a gun on the Joker, but after the fight, when the police arrive, he takes one of the policewoman's guns and uses it to detonate some plastic explosives that he has stuck to a wall. And though an argument can be made that this isn't a complete breaking of the rule, as he doesn't use the gun on a person, he does still definitely use a gun, and it still deserves to be on this list. Number 3. Final Crisis Final Crisis was the comic book event that saw Darkseid attack the Earth. Personally, I never much liked this comic event. There were a lot of good moments in it, but I felt the story was a little all over the place and it read like it had all been rushed into production and that the script needed a little bit more time and development to be polished off. But anyway, in this comic event, Batman is captured by Darkseid. But then he of course manages to escape. He is Batman after all. And he has a Radeon bullet with him, which Darkseid made to kill Orion, as it is a bullet with which can kill a god, as this Radeon substance is toxic to Darkseid's kind. And Batman then kills Darkseid by shooting him with this bullet, in a very cool moment in which he says, I don't usually like guns, but with you, I'll make a once in a lifetime exception. He then shoots Darkseid, which also breaks his no killing rule as well, and at the same time Darkseid blasted him with his Omega Beams, making everyone in the DC Universe believe that Batman was dead. Though in fact Batman was still alive, he was merely transported backwards in time and was moving slowly forwards to time to the very present, causing a build up of energy so that when he returned to the present time, this energy would detonate and kill everyone on Earth. Meaning that Darkseid's Omega Beams had basically turned Batman into a bomb that Darkseid had intended to attack Earth with. Though thankfully the heroes were of course able to rescue Batman and bring him back to the present, 
and of course safely deal with the energy that had been building up inside of him. Number 2. Batman the Brave and the Bold This version of Batman is very different to the usual one we see in media, as it focused more on the Silver Age Batman comic books, which was a more campier version of the character. With that being said, once you got over the initial shock of this being a more light-hearted take, this show is actually pretty amazing. And it also makes Aquaman quite cool, as he now is super strong and super tough again, as he always was in the comics, but he wasn't always represented in shows in this way. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're gonna be mad about what I just did! And on the show Batman the Brave and the Bold, the writers were very faithful to the comics for the most part, meaning that Batman would never use a gun. That is until the very last episode of the series, where Batmite has decided to mess with reality and has Batman use a gun. For those who don't know, Batmite is from the fifth dimension and has godlike powers, allowing him to do pretty much anything, including the creation of life and manipulation of all life in every conceivable way. I'll give Batman the one thing he would never have. And Batmite decides that he wants to get the TV show Batman the Brave and the Bold cancelled to make way for a darker, more brooding Batman TV show, because he wants to watch that in the fifth dimension. And this time the Batman uses a gun is very important to mention, because Batman doesn't realise that reality is being changed, even though Batmite gives him the most ridiculous of gadgets. Neon talking super street bat moves. Activate. Ready when you are, King Crusader. He changes some of the voice actors. The role of Aquaman will now be voiced by Ted McGinley. That evil anthropoid is rampaging through Gotham. And he also gives him a wife and child. Please, Kiki. Daddy is trying to work. Kiki. And all of this, Batman goes along with fine. But it's only when Batmite makes him use a gun that Batman realizes that reality is being messed with. I give up. How am I going to convince you of what's real or not when you don't even know you'd never use a gun? You're right. And it's for this reason this is one of my favorite times Batman uses a gun. Because it shows that Batman's hatred of guns runs so deep that he won't use one even when you're mind controlling him. Number 1. Batman Beyond This is without a doubt the best time that Batman utilizes a gun, and he doesn't even fire it. It's in the first episode of the Batman Beyond TV series, where we see an aging Bruce Wayne who has built a super advanced Batman suit to help compensate for his aging body. This suit heightens his reflexes, strength and speed to help him to continue fighting crime even in old age. Synaptic controls, neuromuscular amplification, flight capability? <laughs> this thing might be old, but it's still cutting edge. Bet it amplifies your strength by at least 10 to 1. And for the most part, the suit does work, and he is able to beat most of the bad guys when he is attempting to rescue a girl that the bad guys have abducted. Unfortunately, during the fight, he has a heart attack, or at least heart troubles, and that's when the tables turn, as one of the villains sees weakness and decides to strike. So Batman is being beaten up by the bad guy, and he has no way of defending himself, and his only recourse to save his life is to use one of the guns that one of the other bad guys has previously dropped. And while this gun does get the bad guy to back off, Bruce Wayne is disgusted at himself for using one, and it is the final straw for Batman. Because after this, Batman decides to retire from the superhero lifestyle. Never again. And this shows us how much he despises guns, because Bruce Wayne would rather give up on being Batman, give up on his lifelong mission to fight crime, and instead retire, rather than be forced to use a gun to continue being Batman. There is also the time that Batman used a gun in an episode of Justice League Unlimited. In the episode, Deadman, who is a ghost who can't be seen by the living, but can possess the living, and uses others' bodies to fight crime, helps the Justice League to stop Gorilla Grodd from taking over Gorilla City. This is a city in Africa where super-intelligent apes with super-advanced technology secretly live, and Gorilla Grodd is taking over the city so that he can use this super-advanced technology to turn every human on Earth into an ape. And as insane as all that sounds, it's actually a pretty good episode of the show. And in this episode, Batman uses a gun, though technically it was only his body that fires the weapon, as Batman is possessed by Deadman, and then Deadman fires the gun. This was to stop a villain from attacking Superman, Wonder Woman and Batman, but unfortunately this did lead to the villain dying 
though this actually wasn't Dead Man's intention. He only meant to stop the villain, not kill him. And when Batman does regain control of his body, he is disgusted to find that he is holding a handgun, and even more disgusted to discover that Dead Man has used his body to not only fire a gun, but to take a life with one. Bruce, Dead Man took over your body. It wasn't your fault. And one other thing that does need to be mentioned is the Batmobile as the Batmobile has more firepower than most tanks. In fact, in the video game Batman Arkham Knight, the Batmobile even transforms into a tank, complete with machine gun turrets. And it's always been a bit of a contradiction that Batman doesn't use guns, but that his Batmobile, Batwing and other vehicles all have machine guns and other such guns attached to them. It seems that Batman only seems to care about using handguns specifically. In fact, in the film The Dark Knight Rises, Catwoman shoots Bane with a gun attached to his bat cycle, and she then says, About the whole no guns thing, I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. And she says this because she has just used a gun, but the gun was attached to the bat cycle, so why does Batman have a gun attached to his bat cycle if he doesn't like guns? And the truth is that there's no real answer for this, it's just one of those little inconsistencies that you have to allow for in the Batman mythos. But it did need to be mentioned. And that is five times that Batman has used a gun. And the real question you have to ask yourself is, is using a gun actually bad? After all, the police and army both use guns when necessary to protect people. So is all gun usage automatically bad, since they're using them to do good? Of course, in animated TV shows, movies and comic books, guns are usually not allowed to be used by heroes, as people don't want kids to glorify guns and want to shoot people. Though weirdly, laser guns are okay. It's just guns that resemble real-life guns that people get annoyed about. And this rule of not glorifying guns in a way that children can imitate is part of the reason that Batman stopped using them to begin with, although since then it has become an integral part of his character. But what do you think? Is using guns automatically bad? Or can they be used in the right circumstances for good? And more to the point, do you think that Batman should ever use a gun to fight crime? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'll just say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.